Hello, welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Byte. My name is Mara Fielus. I'm a lab architect with Education Services Lab Tip. In this Learning Byte, I'm going to show you how to protect uh, Juno's config from accidental deletion or change. Protect command, basically, it's a config command that you can apply into your configuration, which prevents, uh, you know, accidental deletion or change of Juno's config. You know, uh, it's kind of like an extra layer of uh, safety, right? It's available on all Juno's platforms running uh, Juno's 11.2 or newer, and, and it can be applied on a specific hierarchy. It's a very handy tool. Sometimes, you know, config change happen without someone's knowledge, and sometimes having this protect uh, option in place kind of warn the uh, network admins, you know, say, uh, you know, before they make a change, right? So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then, uh, you know, uh, also show you how to unprotect as well if we need to. Okay, so uh, let me go back to the demo. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, log into my VMX router, which I will use for demonstration. So it's basically, you know, uh, running VMX platform, which is a VM actually. And I have this configuration. Okay, so let's say I don't wanna make don't want users to easily make change to the system hierarchy. Show configuration, show system. Okay, I want anybody to make change to the system hierarchy. Okay, so let's uh, go to set system protect. Let's go to the edit system. Okay, and I'm gonna say protect. Protect. Protect system, okay? So uh, if I do show here, you see here this protect system hierarchy, you know, is in place. So basically it's gonna protect anything under the system hierarchy. So if I wanna make any change to the system hierarchy, I can. Same thing I wanna do is, let's protect interfaces, GE000. Show compare. So I added uh, that as well, okay. So now I'm gonna commit. Show configuration. I have to protect under system. And I have the U00. So now let's try to make a change to the system hierarchy. Okay, so let's say I wanna change system service. I'm gonna allow uh, root authentication. Set system services. Set services, so I'm already in system hierarchy. SSH, root authentication, allow. Okay, I cannot. It gives me a prompt right away. What can I do? Let's say I want to change the set system hostname. Set hostname. Test. It doesn't let me do that. Warning, it's protected. Okay, same thing if I want to go. Let's say set. Interfaces G000 unit 0 family inet address 10 10 10 10 1 24. I can't okay. So, but if I do unprotect, so this is kind of an extra layer of uh, you know a safety here which I have in place. So, uh, if you have a very important interface that you, you don't want people to touch uh, without confirming. That's a good way to do it. If I really want to make a change, I can do so by using unprotect interfaces GE000 first. Okay, and then let's try this. Now it lets me do it. Show compare. There you go, unprotect is gone. Submit and quit. So that's about it, and that's how you can use this protect feature and also unprotect. Uh, to unprotect a part of the important configuration that you have. Uh, this is very handy in situations, uh, you know, very critical uh, part of the config, kind of giving an extra layer of uh, safety net, okay? I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths. 
industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Network's certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.